Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Today, Gila is super excited about this episode because we are opening up some really cool doggy toys. If you guys are wondering what kind of doggy toys you should be getting for your dog, well, maybe this episode is going to help you out. I have Huskies and they destroy every single plush toy that's ever given to them in the world. If you ever buy a plush toy for a Husky or you own a Husky, you know the consequences. It's just fun for them to deconstruct, if you know what I mean. So, today we're looking into some hardcore rugged toys. Toys that are going to actually withstand the test of time. Withstand the teeth, the vile, vicious mouth of a husky. And what I chose to pick up today was the Chuck It Kick Fetch and the Chuck It Mountain Rope Tug. Now these are two different toys made by the company Chuck It. As you can see, sounds like a company that is made by David Wallace from The Office. Now these toys look really awesome. One of these is obviously like a soccer ball type thing. It's meant to be kicked around. The next one is a rope, kind of like a tug of war toy between two dogs. If you have two Huskies or two different dogs, if you just like playing tug of war with your dog, maybe your dog is a huge puller. This may be a good toy, but we're going to find out today because we're going to review them. We're going to put these toys to the test. We're going to see if these things are even worth your dollar because chuckets are kind of expensive and something that really doesn't make any sense to me and I'll put it in the video right here I'll shoot that clip in for some reason the smaller chuck it kick fetch ball is more money than the bigger one you have to pay more money for less supplies why did chuck it do that I have no clue maybe it's because in the marketplace there are just more people who have smaller dogs than bigger dogs I have no clue but for some reason and I'll put the clip in here right now It was so strange. I didn't understand, and I actually took out my phone to record it because I was like, what's going on here? What's this? What's all these crails and this? So anyways, we're going to open these up today. We're going to let the dogs play with them. We're going to let Gila and Britney Spears just check them out, see what they're all about. I don't know. They might tear into these and destroy them in 30 seconds. I've never even bought a Chuck It product besides just like a basic Chuck It tennis ball. Hopefully, these will become long-term toys. There's nothing worse than going to the store, buying a toy for your dog or your Siberian Husky, and five seconds later, that toy is destroyed, my friend. Gone. Met his demise. Six feet in the ground. There's nothing worse than having to pick up a thousand pieces of plush that just like got completely ungutted from a toy. It's just annoying. So these are the kinds of things you have to work with now. You know, something more rugged, something more solid. So let's go ahead and dive into these. I've said that a thousand times, guys. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing is the Chuck It Kick Fetch. We're going to open this one up first. Hila's really excited about this. She's like, big balls are my game, dog. Whoa, I didn't say that. Let's go ahead and open this up. Take some manpower here. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Mm, just pull it out of there. There we go. Now, my first impression is it's pretty light. It's actually It actually feels pretty good. Um, the material is really squishy. It really feels like a nerf or a cush ball that you would have got in like the 90s. I like how there's all these little lips so your dogs can chew on it, grab it. It feels really, really firm and rugged, so it doesn't feel like it's gonna be destroyed anytime soon. But Gila's dying to get it, so let's let's let her mess around with this. What is this thing, dude? What is this? You wanna play with it? You wanna play with it? Ready? Speak. Good girl, get it. All right, and we're off. What do you think of that, baby? Is that cool? Is that neat? What do you think? Ooh, she likes it. She's like getting down on it. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you get it? Can you even get it? Can you even get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? Oh snap. Oh snap. You David Beckham. You David Beckham dog. While Gila is testing this toy, let's go ahead test the out the other, test out the other one. We'll have Britney Spears test out the next one. This is the Chuck It uh, Mountain Rope Tug. Now, in order to use this, you actually have to be up on a mountain. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to be on a mountain. Mountain Rope Tug. Hey, Britney Spears, what do you think of this? Oh, he's getting ready. He's like, I know this for me, baby. I know this for me, baby. I know this for me, baby. So let's go ahead and open it, shall we? All right. Ugh, manpower here. Get off that thing. Go over there. Now, this is what it looks like all in one. Uh, it's, you know, packaged like that, so it kind of looks weird. But this is how it really looks. And doesn't look like these things are movable. They stay in the exact same place. Hila's already like, what's next, bro? What's next? She's always hogging, like, every toy, no matter what. What do you think it is, buddy? What do you think it is, buddy? 
Now you guys go ahead. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And the tug of war begins. Oh snap. Oh snap. She's like, no way, dude. I need the other end of that rope. Uh, Brittany, come on. Share the rope, buddy. So yeah, what do you think of it, buddy? What do you think of it? Is that a cool toy? He's like, I'm protecting the hell out of it. I know that. Now I'm really hoping that this rope is built well enough to where they're not going to shred it because there's a lot of ropes out there that turn into these little tiny incy weensy baby shreds of like threads, shreds of threads. Wow, that's weird. They get all over the carpet and the floor and you just, all over your shirt, it's really annoying, so. I picked out two winners from the contest on the Goosebumps video. Um, if you guys commented and subscribed, then you guys were entered automatically, and I picked two winners. The first place winner is Amy McLean, congratulations. You won some Harry Potter audiobooks. And the second winner is Gazelli. You won two Disney VHSs, uh, Peter Pan and The Little Mermaid, so congratulations on that. You guys get to go home with a bunch of free stuff just for watching the channel. Just go ahead, leave me a message. If you can't do it on YouTube, go ahead, visit uh, Instagram. Look up 60 underscore formula on Instagram. You'll find me there. Send me a message. Send me your address, and I will get those out to you ASA Pizzle, and you can enjoy your free stuff. Now, don't worry if you didn't enter the contest this time. There's going to be more giveaways in the future where I'm going to be giving away awesome stuff, video game junk, motorcycle stuff, Disney VHSs, you name it. It's going to be given away on this channel, guys, so you don't want to miss out. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell and you're going to be getting some free stuff as well. In the comments down below, give a big congratulations to Amy McLean and Gazelli because they just won some free junk on 60 Formula. Look at her like holding it with her hand like she's b-balling. Are you balling dog? Are you a baller? Are you a b-baller? Damn, look at you. Look at this Kodak moment guys. Just, yo I b-ball. I'm Michael J. I'm Michael Jordan number 23 y'all. You are one cutie. I gotta say. <laughs> you are cute. So it looks like he's really enjoying it. I mean, he's chewing on kind of like the plasticky rubbery part. Usually within this time frame, and it's been about 20 minutes, the dogs will have destroyed a typical plush toy. That's tasty plastic. She's like, don't look at me when I'm eating my plastic. It's not very polite, don't you know? You Ray? Oh, you gotta get it. 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 And Hila's having lunch. Tastes good? Some good Nickelodeon orange plastic? So honestly, ugh, here's my outcome. I would not recommend this toy. The tug of war toy comes with two plastic pieces that are gonna be easily chewed off, and it looks like the rope will fray if they chew it. So the $12.99 was not worth it for that toy. See, look, see that? You're gonna have this all over your carpet. And look how far into this Gila has chewed already. While it may last as a rope, the plastic pieces on it are like, yeah, dude, you're like literally hawking up enough of this. Yeah, see, she's hawking up plastic bits. Look at this. No bueno. However, Chuck It did deliver when it came to the kick fetch. This is the large size kick fetch and it is ballin' as schniz. It is so awesome because I can hold it and pick it up in any way and the dogs, they like it because it rolls and they can pick it up in any way with their mouths. It's not just like a flat ball. This is a really awesome toy because it's durable, it's fun, the dogs really enjoy it and look, he's getting exercise playing with it. Look what's happening here when she's playing with this. I mean, she's not really assessing it properly, but nothing's really happening without me engaging in it. See? Here we go. There you go. There you go. Give me that. So, go with this. This is the kick fetch ball. This is way better. Do this. Save yourself the money. Don't get the tug of war rope. Voila. And that's what we do at 60 Formula. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Chuck It toys. This has been the kickball and the tug of war rope. Let me know if you have any questions on the Chuck It products or the Wubba in the middle here. I will let you guys know all of my opinions and my thoughts. If you're really having a great time enjoying the videos coming out almost every single day, having fun with the pups, having fun collecting Disney VHS and games with me, you might want to think about checking out my Patreon. Now, my Patreon is just for people who are really into my content, who love my channel, and if 
you decide you want to uh, donate, I have $1 donations per month. It helps us out a lot. It helps the pups out so much. So if you guys want to donate $1 per month, that would be amazing. Of course, if you guys do decide you do want to donate, your names will be shouted out. You'll get a whole bunch of extra special stuff. I'll send you guys really cool updates. Think about it. It may be something you want to do. Maybe not. You know, not everybody has a dollar that they want to donate and a dollar is a lot. It goes a long way. Let me tell you guys, I don't need more. That's basically $12 a year and you get 365 days of entertainment on my YouTube channel. If you don't want to, you're still going to get it for free. It's no biggie. It just shows that you appreciate the channel and I really, really, really respect that. So thanks for watching guys. As always, I really appreciate you. Like I always say, take it easy and I will see you next time with whatever I make. Peace. Thank you.